Hey everybody, this is David. How's it going? I uh, just wanted to give kind of an update on the the whole Nerf LED project. It started a few years back. For those who don't remember, it went something like this. You, you slid open a dart, you tape some batteries onto an LED light, and you slip them inside and then tape the dart back together. Now the problem was the darts have to be airtight to be fired so the tape solution wasn't really the best. Now the batteries I was using were kind of big. See, they're almost exactly the same size as the, the hole in the, the end of the dart. So my solution to this has been instead of using the the larger AG3 button cells, I actually found something smaller. These are called AG0. There's a couple benefits to these. First one is that they're small enough to fit inside a clear drinking straw, which is good because that fits right inside of a dart. You know, it just slips right in. So we can use this as a case for the batteries and the LED lights. So what I've come up with is kind of this little design. There's a hole in the side of the straw, and then there's also kind of a notch at the top. Um, ignore the hole at the bottom. That was just that was a mistake. So the reason for this is we can kind of hook the LED into the top and then slip the the longer leg down through the the hole. This allows the batteries just kind of sit in place, and it clears up the problem I was having before where the side of the batteries would come in contact with the wire and that would mess up the the flow of the electricity. I don't I don't know the technical terms. But anyway, you slip it on like this, and then we can just drop each of the batteries in. They kind of have to be adjusted. I use tweezers, but I think a toothpick or something small like that would probably work too. Alright, and there we go. Once it's inside the dart, it, it holds together really well. And I'm thinking that if if we were to make the, the end of the straw on this side, where my thumb is, if we were to make that end a bit longer, then it'd be easy, pretty easy to retrieve the batteries like once you're done. Once you're finished playing around with the laser dart. Yay! It glows! Uh, same disclaimer as with the other design though the air restrictor, the little nubs inside the nerf guns, those have to be removed or else the darts probably won't fit. I haven't I haven't been able to find any of our guns that don't have the restrictors removed. Anyway, uh, for, for an off switch, I'm gonna be looking at this sort of design where there's a little slit It'd be in the straw, where you can you can kind of slip something, maybe a piece of paper or plastic, in between the batteries to disrupt the connection. So I'll be trying that next. Um, let you guys know how that works out. And uh, thanks for watching.